Hello everybody and welcome back. So we have just arrived at Hogs Life or a Hogs Life in Hogsback and this place is really cool. So it is like a haven for rescue dogs or animals. Um, so they've got a lot of dogs who have had some really terrible things happen to them and they've got a home here or they look after them and then I think you can adopt them as well. We've just arrived so I'm still learning everything so I'll update you as we go but that is the concept which I really love but then they also have all of these really cool teepees or oh, it's a bit too bright can't see it but I'll show you they have a whole bunch of teepees which are really cool that you can come stay in and then every teepee has its own bathroom so you don't really have to, you don't have to share a bathroom because each teepee has their own so that is where we are right now we'll show you around later but now we are on our way to the Arboretum and then we are going to the brewery hopefully and this is Fluffy by the gate she's really cute we'll show you her later okay so I just thought I'd show you we're about to leave to go and do some things but this is Ted um, and he's so cute so he's one of the rescue dogs and he's chilling by the gate because apparently he's He's older and he doesn't want to hang out with the younger crowd but he's now removed it but he was so cute he was sitting here and he had a bunch of leaves on his nose and his mouth and he was just staring at us with this but he's chilling taking it easy hey Ted hello my wolf hello my wolf hey Ted see you later alligator so we're back at the chocolate shop we came here when we arrived and they were so good that we're back again <laughs> so we came and got some of our favorite ones um, and this time we got some ice cream as well gelato Tam. gelato Thank you very much. salted caramel gelato <laughs> Taking morning slowly, waking up with a sweet look sound. Look how cool this looks already. That is so cool. So, bad news our ice cream is melting. Well, it's a gelato. I was the one that was complaining about that earlier. It's really melting, like it's dripping on my hands, and we haven't had lunch yet. But we got lunch from Rory, who. Yeah was a lot of fun to talk to and funny enough was in the film industry which is crazy yeah because we're in the film industry <laughs> well we were in the film industry well we maybe are maybe so we'll be in the film full industry full <laughs> industry film industry <laughs> anyway we're at the arboretum now and heading towards the waterfall of 39 steps don't know yeah. why i said it like that the 39 steps waterfall there's a bunch of cows coming we were about to stop and eat our gelato and then we decided against it. No, so we were going to the Arboretum to eat our gelato and then we were like, there's all of these cows. But that's fine, we'll walk past some cows. But then it turns out there was a bull and then we were like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't walk past the bull. Because my grand's been chased by a bull and like we even have a comic drawn of it. <laughs> like, I've heard you don't get chased by a bull. So we were like, we'll sit by this bench and we'll wait. And then... The path was cleared because some lady, some lady drove, drove through past, yeah. and they all moved away. Which is also curious because <coughs> you're not supposed to be able to, well you can drive here, you're not allowed to drive here. Yeah. It's possible to do it. I mean we're in the parking lot right now but anyway look how cool it is. The Arboretum Garden of Peace. <laughs> Took the world falling apart But maybe we needed to take a step back To remember how lucky we are It's like time was falling asleep In the afternoon So life is keeping us warm Against our will 
are currently in the Arboretum in Hogsback and there are a bunch of Californian redwood trees here and we've never seen anything like this it's just over a hundred years old yeah it's still a baby still a baby tree it's like a sapling, look at it <laughs> look at it he says <laughs> they are massive yeah. We are currently sitting in our tent for five minutes and recuperating. Is that the right word? Recuperating. Yeah. And hello, bye. <laughs> there is a fireplace in front of us, so it's actually pretty cool that you can actually have a fireplace in a teepee. Like I'm sure that must that has to be what people did. Um, it's just so clever and well designed that the smoke can escape. But <laughs> do you see Byron's face? Do you think, <laughs> with a stretch of imagination? that the heater and Byron look the same, like a guy going, <laughs> Now that you've seen Byron going, Aah. what he's doing it now, it's just an intentional, unintentional yawn. <laughs> well, <laughs> my point was, do you want to see the place now? I think that would be fun. Let's go. Mountain over there. I don't know if you like Lord of the Rings. Okay, so the left hand mountain, the local Hussar believe that there's a giant flying snake that lives in that mountain. It comes out, turns into a tornado, creates carnage in the area, and then goes back to sleep again in the mountain. Okay, the, the, the giant flying snake is called Inca Nyamba. Okay. Lives up there. So when Tolkien was a young boy, he had an African nanny from Hogsback who told him the story of Inca Nyamba that goes to sleep in the mountain that comes out causes all this terror and then sleeps again so when he moved to england when he was five there's no such thing as giant flying snakes there's dragons so that became small the dragon that's where he's ah. lives. so like Lord yeah. is based on of course a legend which is quite amazing yeah um so this forest this ancient ancient forest this is called auckland it's the land of the orcs where the orcs come from. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the big tree, which has got old man's beard on it, which is tree beard the ent. So, and this is supposed to be Rivendell Forest here. We are at Away with the Fairies. We're staring at the three hogs and running a bath in front of the oldest forest in South Africa. The timing, and it's sunset. I don't know if I mentioned that. The timing is perfect. it all figured out Knew which road I would go down Thought I could do it all on my own Then you came around When fate has its way And things fall into place 
What you guys don't understand is that we come prepared. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We brought our own light. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we got to use it. We used it once before. No, I brought it inside once before. So <laughs> we never used the it. last place on our entire trip. It came in handy. It came in handy. <laughs> we are back from away with the fairies yeah. and it was fantastic. That bath has you should speak about the bath. <laughs> the bath is really cool. Byron always almost hit me in the face when he said you should speak about the bath. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but the bath is really cool. It's a really cool view. Uh, the bath water is brown. Uh, could either be mountain water or it could be from the donkey itself. The donkey keeps it warm. Um, donkey not, boiler, not like an actual boiler. donkey. Not a donkey, it yeah. doesn't like stand there on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a definite must do. I think it's really cool. Hasn't it? Oh, okay, I thought you were going to talk about the emotional part of that's oh. been on your list for so long, but okay. Yeah, it has. It's been on my bucket list, so to actually be there and do it is really cool. And at sunset. And at sunset, yeah. perfect timing. And then the pizza, oh, there's better lighting. And then the pizza, of, no, that's worse lighting. And, and then, then the, the pizza, pizza. <laughs> and the pizza from away with the fairies was delicious. Mm. We built our own with pepper dew and feta, which is in case you're interested. Mm. And now it is time to dump what you prefer. No, mm. hey, what do you think about that? <laughs> now it's first time to go take some night photography. Mm. Oh. The stars are amazing. And then we need to take a time lapse. The stars are amazing. We need to show you. Byron, you better show them. Uh, mm. Pressure. I'm excited. <laughs> life <laughs> um it is now breakfast time or we are about to have breakfast i don't know if tammy told you how nice it smells here like it's fresh air but they've got all the, the pines and the oaks and it just smells amazing i love it yeah yeah so we're gonna go have breakfast now and this whole concept of being here is being off grid so there's not like any electricity or anything like that but there is hello here's ted Want to say hello to the camera? Take good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so there's no electricity, but there is in the communal kitchen. There's a shared plug. So I'm going to see if I can do something with my fringe. Oh in yeah, because you need to do something with your fringe, Tim. Hello, baby. I don't know who you are. Do you know who Fluffy is? I do know who Fluffy is. Right behind you. Right there. Hey Fluff. Hey Fluff. Hey Fluff. Good morning. Good morning. Alright, so we went to the communal kitchen to have breakfast. But then we got so busy talking to Kathy, who's a really awesome lady, um, that we ran out of time to have breakfast. But that's okay because we snacked on some healthy biscuits in the car. Um, but now we are at Swallowtail which is a, high, a short walk to a hide To a hideaway, what? To a hide-a-fall. <laughs> to, to a waterfall. Now let's go do the hike. Be careful of the hounds. They came running at us, which was a little bit horrifying at first. <laughs> but now they're just too excited. <laughs> they like that excited of when they're trying to play with you. <laughs> and they bite you. That cute bite. <laughs> <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> too much playing, too much excitement. Now they've been following us the whole time on the trail. We are like friend friends now. They're just accepting. They're like, yes, all right. We shall go on this walk now, humans. Let's go. There's literally like a waterfall around every corner in Hogsback. It's just so beautiful here, and na the nature, the waterfalls, it's just amazing.
Madonna and Child Waterfalls, named after that little rock formation that apparently looks like the, the sculpture. I think, isn't that Madonna and Child? I have no idea. To me, I, I imagined like the little boulder part being a baby and then the waterfall coming over the mother. I thought, I think there's a sculpture called Madonna and Child. Oh, and maybe. I think that like top piece is a child. We'll have to compare. It is a lot more popular than everywhere else, so there's a lot of people. But if you're not, we have another secret to share with you. So we are going to take you to the top uh, of the water. Where did yeah. you think? Okay, I wasn't quite sure where. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to go. We'll, sh we'll show you. We'll show you. Okay. Let's go. The nice thing about the Madonna and Child waterfall is that it's quite an easy hike up and down. Hey, Tams. Coming back up. It's killer. <laughs> so steep. hilarious so um, I'm sitting at the top of the falls here and Byron's just a little bit down by the edge of the falls and I'm trying to ask him what the name of this place is because I believe it's Kettle Bell Falls or something like that but I'm not completely sure so I wanted to check with him so I'm going where are we and he's going are you vlogging and I'm going yes but where are and then he's like, but are you vlogging? So I show him that I'm vlogging. And then he goes and walks away. So I believe we are Kettlebell, Kettlebell Falls. But I'll check that with him. And we are currently at the top of Madonna and Child. Okay, so I was completely wrong. We are not at Kettlebell. There's something called Kettle Spout. Kettle Spout. Falls. And we are not there. We are <laughs> just at the top of Madonna and Child. Don't say it's so negative. It's so cool. It's cool. I'm not saying it negatively. But uh, warning, <laughs> there is nothing to stop you from plummeting. So, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice and peaceful. I suggest coming here if you want to see the view because the view is awesome. So we watched Anne sing all of her amazing songs and 
my word, like, if there's a girl who's done everything. <laughs> she cycled from South Africa to Kenya, is it? To Kenya on a bicycle and stayed in wherever she could find and was accommodated by the locals and just like amazing stories um, and beautiful voice, gorgeous voice. Um, and so that was just awesome. And then we have gone about and we shot some content and also we have a Sony review coming up, which is awesome. So we shot all of that as well. Um, and now it's, we're about to shoot a shot. Test. And now we're about to shoot a shot. So Probably Larry, our last shot of, of this trip. Yeah. Ooh. How do you feel about that, Byron? Maybe. Do you guys want to see our last shot? Sorry, I rudely never answered terms. I feel a little bit relieved. Obviously sad that it's over because there's so much more to explore. Oh yeah, the journey but is never done. It will never be finished. But lighting will be finished. The so let's quickly take off. this shot. This is our life now as we prepare to leave tomorrow morning really really early so this is our dumping station as well as our ironing station the fashion station, uh, the fashion station sorry as well as the food station once the ironing station the fashion station is, done. is, is completed <laughs> we're almost ready we just got to pack everything into the car um, but can you see this orange ambience it is because we have a candle <laughs> and a fire inside the teepee. That is so cool. Oh, it's actually quite warm. Ooh, Tammy's feeling tired. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to have about three hours of sleep. grabbing some breakfast and then carrying on. We have traveled 261 kilometers so far and it is 10 to 8. I apologize for taking so long, it's analog. <laughs> Guess where we are? We're stuck at another stop and go. And this one's also been like 20 minutes. Remember the last time when we were in Hermanus and we needed to pee? Luckily we don't need to pee this time. Yeah. But I see cars coming, so that's hopeful. But we see this is the second batch of cars. This is the second about. batch. Do you see how smug that guy was looking at <laughs> He's smiling like, at us. Yeah, I'm through now. <laughs> <laughs> Guess where we are? At another one! At another one. But so the last one we were stuck in was in Ruville. So we did some research. Ruville is very interesting. It was formed as a midway stop between Aliwal North and Smithfield because... For like their, their postal service because it took too long 
to travel on horse and wagon between the two in one day. So they needed a halfway stop for their post office. Um, and then during the Second World War, uh, the men were all signed up for... Conscripted. Conscripted. And so the town was completely abandoned for two years. That's interesting. That's crazy. Founded in 1864 according to the internet and 1863 according to the sign. So, yeah. somewhere around there. <laughs> okay, well, now we've got to wait. More history, I suppose. Yeah. But there's always a cool church in town. So I took a long nap. We were almost there. Well, we've traveled five out of nine hours. Which is crazy. It's flying, actually. Yeah. So we're that's saying like, we've driven so much now that driving doesn't really feel like a thing. As like before in the start of the trip, this would be like, whoa, nine hours. And now it's just going. Yeah. <laughs> and we drove past, like it looked like a really cool petrol stop now. And we're like, oh, wow, that looks cool. But we didn't stop there. And then we got around the corner and saw that it's burned down. That sucks. Which sucks because it looked like it was so cool. And now it's just all destroyed. That's sad. Yeah. You just missed our ice cream break because we had an SD card error, which was a little bit horrifying. But I think we figured it out because we use micro SD cards that fit into the adapter because we have the GoPro and the drone use the micro SD and the other cameras use the normal SD card and we keep on having to swap to bit. Anyway, so apparently those plastic adapters are unreliable and can cause you grief. So I just swapped that out and it seems to work. I also swapped out drivers and this also seems to work. So I'm enjoying this part. Oh, our drivers don't think you and me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is a driver? Oh, like camera. A, oh, for you. Oh, yes, you, can. you can get, yeah, that, that makes sense. Anyway, how far are we? We've got like two hours left, I think. Right? We're we almost there. We had two and a half just now. Although that was like a break. Two to two and a half hours, we're almost there. Hey! As we're getting to the end of the trip, I was just finalizing our file and I thought I'd show you. This is how we've been keeping track of everything. So we have all our like official documentation and then we have our itinerary for every single day with the time we arrive, how long it should take, the time we leave, the cost or estimated, oh there was a bridge there, sorry, the cost of the estimated bri uh, bridge, <laughs> the cost of the estimated cost, any notes and the distance from the last point, any extra places that we might visit. Then we also kept track of everything that we actually did. The time we arrived, the time we left, how much it cost, any special notes, any secret places, everything like that. So we did that for every single place that we went for every single day on this journey. There's also some interviews that we have we have maps inside here anything that we picked up along the way travel brochures, travel brochures. we have a lot of receipts <laughs> a lot of uh, travel information because the restrictions had just been lifted so we just had to make sure all of that all our interview templates and so we carried this thing with us the entire time and this is kind of like what kept us in track oh, I'm so happy for it to be finished it's almost finished we're just busy with the last page as we arrive the last page as we're going home now but then we still gotta I mean translate all of that into blog posts and travel guides and so we're now in here done yeah. at least we'll be done with adding the information to it and the worst part about this file is it's it looks small compared to your bags and everything so you think that's the extra thing I've got a spare hand got something under my arm got a bag on the other hand so I'll just grab it like this you know when you, you pinch to grab and then you start walking upstairs or to your room and you realize that you it's can't a, grab it anymore. you can't you, you start cramping it's falling you gotta run you do a skew run try catch it with your elbow so it was a mission to take it out every single day but it was also a lifesaver to have Oh, I'm so happy with it. <laughs> I just, yeah, we need to neaten this up and translate it into usable information for you. We are almost home. T 
10 hours. Ten, of driving. 10 hours. That's crazy. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it was that long. It's kind of weird because now we're starting to see familiar streets. Familiar streets. Why what? Joburg. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can see there's like a different style of driving. Yeah, things are not slow anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see my doggies. Over 8,000 kilometers, 30,000 photos, 2 terabytes of video footage, and 64 days across South Africa. And we are done! Yeah! <laughs> it's finished! Woo! Um, <laughs> you might be confused by our excitement. <laughs> we love traveling, but sometimes it's good to come home and reset. Um, can't wait to bring you guys all of the travel guides. This is what we worked so hard to do. And thank you for joining us on the vlog. Um, this has been awesome and we can't wait to share everything with you. Love you guys! Until the next adventure. Until the next adventure.